Zebra took another animal last night. Everyone is terrified. Laptrap, Mathra is just an old Numerian superstition. There's a simple explanation for what's happening here, and I think I know what it is. Tomorrow, you and I will set off to find the two keys to the ancient city, and... <laughs> Dr. Pythagoras, look out! Call the Clue Finders! Mr. Limburger, are we near the place where my Uncle Horace was kidnapped? We're getting there, Joni. But frankly, I don't know what you kids can do. Was Dr. Pythagoras really taken by a monster? Well, peanuts anyone? That's what folks are saying. And there's an old superstition about a monster in a lost city. Superstition? Lost city? Monster! Peanuts? Owen! Yes, I remember reading about a lost city near here. That's right, Leslie. People say that a city named Numeria existed in this rainforest more than a thousand years ago. The wise Numerians were great inventors. They built up a great city, and they might still be in that city today if it hadn't been for Mathra. One dark night, a hideous monster named Mathra appeared as if out of nowhere. The Numerians lived in terror as night after night the evil beast attacked the wild creatures of the forest. Eventually, the Numerians captured Mathra and locked him in a deep dungeon. But they were afraid that Mathra might escape and terrorize them again. So they left their beloved city, never to return. They locked the city gate with a golden key and split the key in two. They buried the keys in puzzles in two corners of the rainforest, hoping that this way, only the wise and the worthy would be able to enter their city. The Numerians still live in the cities and villages around here, but the location of their ancient city remains hidden to this day. Now it seems Mathra is back. And he's got Joni's Uncle Horace. Hmm, I bet Mathra took him to that lost city. Owen's right. We've got to get into that city. Uh, how are you going to do that? No one knows where it is. I do. Who are you? I am Laptrap, the Turbo Turtle. Your Uncle Horace knew where to find the two keys and the lost city. And before he disappeared, he recorded the locations on a map in one of my programs. Hmm. See? It looks like one key is in the Monkey Kingdom, and the other is in the Goo Lagoon. Okay, listen up. Santiago, Laptrap, and I will go out and find the keys. Cool. Leslie and I will use the video link and be your backup. Right. Anytime you can't figure out what to do, Use Santiago's red video phone to call us for help. And we can store things in my backpack. This may be dangerous, so anytime anyone needs a break or wants to see the map, use me. Let's get going. We've got to find those keys. Where should we start? You decide. Joni, Santiago, look out for that vine! Oh, Lab Trap, stop worrying so we can. Whoa! Hey! Oh dear! <laughs> What's that? I am Vasco de Bongo, king of the Monkeystadors! A monkey king? Listen, I'll be monkey. Our king, if you can't help us. Mathra is on the loose. He's eating pumas and parrots, and pretty soon he'll be craving a monkey milkshake. Hmm, unless... Unless? Unless you furlish chimpanzees can find the two keys to the lost city. That's just what we're after. Do you know how we can find a key? I know how you can find one of them. 
Just take either path across my monkey kingdom, and then cross the five rings of volcanic fire. Volcanic fire? I'd cross the rings of fire myself, but I, uh, uh sprained my tail. Naturally, you'll need sneezeberries, but my fellow Monquistadors will gladly give them to you. Of course, you may need to do them some little favors in return. Stop the presses! What exactly are sneezeberries? Little berries of many colors, uh, blue, green, red, purple, and gold. The ancient Numerians planted the sneezeberry bushes long ago. Listen, Bingo. Bongo! Bongo? Bingo! We don't have time for berry picking, we're... Without these berries, you'll never make it across the rings of fire. Or the man, I mean, monkey. Let's go find those sneeze berries. Da! Ah, a monster! I'm not afraid of monsters. I don't believe in monsters. Don't believe? You've got to believe, and you've got to stop them. Let me tell you why. Long ago there lived a monster who rose up from the deep. He terrorized the jungle, allowed Numeria no sleep. He attacked the jungle animals, left mother's cubs to weep. So the Numerians took action and set out to trap the creep. Do you believe in monsters? From ancient history Do you believe that we were sitting pretty Till he rose from the lost city hungrily Do you believe in monsters Flying from the sky Do you believe you'll catch that puma addict With a little mathematics you'll apply What's that? Stand back, furless ones. This is a relic dropped from the sky by Mathra. Let's take a look. Aviatron engine oil? Joni, what's going on? Doesn't aviation mean flying? Yeah. What would an ancient flying beast be doing with a can of engine oil? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Come on! Hmm, no key from the Rings of Fire yet? Uh-oh, you need to get it. Want to know more about Mathra? All you need to do is ask. The Numerians were fearful. They did not know what to do. So they trapped him underground. Then they cut the key in two. For a thousand years he slumbered, now he's risen up to feast. The whole rainforest sings this chorus. Find the key and bag the beast. Do you believe in monsters? Rising from the gloom. Do you believe our humble requisition? If you're not good at addition, then we're doomed. Do you believe in monsters? Rising from the grave Do you believe our humble supplication? We use multiplication and we're saved You are back! Halt! I fear you will get sneezeberry juice on the sign for Mathra I don't believe this guy I am guardian of the king's relics, and this is... Yeah, we know. A sign from the sky from Mathra. Let's go, Santiago. This guy is crazy. Wow. Look over there. Those must be the rings of fire, Santiago. That's where the Numerians hid one of the keys to their ancient city. This looks dangerous. Perhaps we should go back and eat lunch. You're a robot lap trap? 
if you don't eat lunch. Let's go! Onward, Joni! Aren't we there yet? I'm going to have to change my batteries really soon. Lap Trap, you should have thought of that before we left. Don't worry, Laptrap. Santiago and I have thought of everything. That's right. Uh, so, you brought the food. Right, Joni? Food? After you, Mr. Rivera. So you kids have caught a lot of monsters before, right? Well, no monsters, but... Laptrap! Get a clue! We're the Clue Finders! We're famous! We have a website! Oh, silly me! After you, Ms. Savage! Wait a minute! Have you guys even considered what we're gonna do when we catch up with Mathra? Well... Uh, I'm working on it! Onward, Joni! Look, are you sure you want to keep going? I hear Mathra has razor-sharp claws. Big deal. And the 60-foot wingspan. He does? And I hear he... I hear he likes to eat turbo turtles for breakfast. Ooh. Oh, great. After you, Ms. Savage. Look, the clues from the bridges are on the wall. Let's do what the clues tell us. We'll find the key by using the clues in the right order. Whoa! All right, who turned out the lights? Trap door! We! We? Ooh, I'm dizzy. But we got the first key. We need the second key. And it's in the Goo Lagoon. Oh, my circuits! It's pitch black in here! Laugh Trap, stop complaining so... Whoa! Hey! Yuck! Oh, what is this sticky stuff? It's goo, Joni. Goo! Uh, be careful where you... Goo! I just washed my shell, and now you've got me wandering through this terrarium of goo! I'll never get these stains out. Goo is nothing to worry about. Whoa! 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 Oh, boy. Look, lads. Two big bugs and a little bug. I am not a bug. Welcome to Liverpuddle Bugs, gateway to the Goo Lagoon. Who are you? We're the Liverpudlians, Bugs. We live here in the goo. Oh, goo. Oh, I miss me fresh goo. You're a dreamer, mate. Hasn't been any fresh goo since that fiendish Mathra showed up, poisoning the goo ears. Mathra? That's who kidnapped my uncle. That's who we're out to stop. He's in the ancient Numerian city. You'll need two keys to get in. Where can we find a key? There's one on the other side of the lagoon, isn't there? Right, on top of Goo Falls. Goo Falls? You know what you'll need to get to the top of the falls, don't you? Beetles! Yeah, bags of goo beetles. You better collect some on your way over. Take either path. And be careful, bugs. It's a jungle out there. We're not bugs. But we're gonna get some. Let's go get those beetles, Joni. What happened here? <laughs> I'm a good girl, I am. Oh, dear me. But that nasty Mathra cut his way right through where he did. A no good bloke knocking down trees, dropping black shiny stuff in our precious goo. Hey, what's that over there? Drop that too, he did. Fletcher's Furriers, Madison Avenue. Joni, what's going on? Isn't a furrier someone who takes animal fur and turns it into clothing for people? 
Do you suppose someone is trapping animals for their fur around here? I'd sure like to find out. Let's go. He's a truly nasty thingy, he, that Mathra. You've got to stop him, and here's why. Here in Liverpool, we're all in quite a muddle. And since the monsters come back, he's ruining the goo. It used to be we flourished, the goo here kept us nourished. Now our lovely home's in purish, and we miss fresh goo. Smell like old socks from Mathra shoes. Ooh, goo, goo, there's just one thing to do. Find the key, stop the monster, and clean up the goo. The falls of goo are waiting, so stop your hesitating. We're all asphyxiating and choking from the goo. The goo round here is stinking, we miss our fresh goo drinking We're not so good at thinking, we're depending on you You, 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 you Goo, goo, what happened to you? You smell like old socks from Mathra shoes Goo, goo, that's just one thing to do Find the key, stop the monster, and clean up the goo. Oh no, no key from Goo Falls yet? You'd better get to it. You bugs again? What you doing back here? Go on. Get that fiendish Mathra before he ruins all our goo! Okay, okay, we're on our way! You must stop, Mathra! Let's go! Monster or no monster, Uncle Horace needs our help! Wow! Look over there! Whoa! We must have to get to the top of those five walls to find one of the keys! Oh, great! More goo! <sighs> Aren't we there yet? We're getting closer, Laptrap. I can feel it. All I can feel is Laptrap circuits buzzing in my ear. Oh, sorry! Hey, Santiago, do you think Uncle Horace is okay? He'll be okay, Joni. He's got a PhD in everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. You're right. I just wanted to be sure you weren't getting discouraged or anything. Me? But... I'm glad I can make you feel better, Santiago. Let's go. Oh, brother. Hey, aren't we there yet? My batteries are really running low now. At least you can recharge your batteries. You know, my feet are starting to kill me. Your feet are killing me, too. How long have you been wearing those socks? Hey! Just kidding. I'm so mad. When we catch Mathra, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him sorry he ever messed with my uncle. Joni, get real. He's like 60 feet tall. We'll need brains, not brawn. Brains, brawn, and when we finally get there, batteries! Look, the five clues we collected are on that wall. 
Maybe if we follow them, we'll find the key. Hey, we stopped the fountains. Grab the key and put it in the backpack. We got both keys. So, kids, looks like you found both keys. The next stop for you must be the Lost City. What's the fastest way to get there, Mr. Limburger? Well, from looking at your uncle's map, it seems pretty far. How about if I drop you two off in my airplane? We're circling over the city gates now, kids. Parachutes ready. Good luck, kids. This doesn't look like the Lost City. <laughs> lost City? Boy, are you lost. Yeah, you better just turn around and go back. Uh, I don't think we can go back. Hmm, that's true. Not unless you can fly. <laughs> well, anyway, they can't stay here. But... Uh, 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 I think we need a conference. I don't know what to do with the piece of carrots. I don't want to... Uh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, this okay, okay. is what we'll do. All right, we've decided that we don't want you to stay here, so we're going to help you. Yeah, the lost city is about four tall trees that away. Now, don't tell anyone we helped you. Yeah, now scram. All right, all right already. Let's go, Santiago. We're off to that city. Wow. Look! The Lost City Gates! But how do we get there? It's too far to jump. Flight number 270 has been postponed. Excuse me, but we need to get to the Lost City. Look, I'd love to help you, but I've got no time. I've got to help these six customers. Maybe we can help you. I'll tell you what. If you can help me, I'll get you to the Lost City. Now what? Now, you go to the Lost City! Whoa! 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 Hey, hey! Watch it! Those two aren't built to fly! Whoa! Look! The city gates! At last! Looks like we need to use the two keys. But there's only one keyhole. Let's take them both out of the backpack and see what happens. Whoa! The two keys are combining into one key. Let's grab the key and put it in the keyhole. <gasps> Look! It's Mathra. He looks like he's sleeping. Let's go in there and get him. Uh, oh, hold it, Joni. I just thought of something. It flies. It drops oil, furrier labels, and oil cans. Why is that sounding so familiar? Sure, always blame the turtle. Not you, Lap Trap. Limburger. <gasps> Fletcher Limburger, it was you all along. That's right, kids. The legend of Mathra was a convenient way to keep everyone away from the lost city while I collected animals for my fur company. Everything was going perfectly until your meddling uncle got in the way. But I took care of him, and you two kids won't stop me. <laughs> <gasps> He's getting away, Santiago. We've got to stop him. Gesundheit. Who are you? We are the guardians of Numeria. Your evil enemy has trapped many animals and your uncle at the bottomless pits of doom. The bottomless pits of doom? You may pass through either gateway to get there. Once there, build the ancient Numerian Mathra trap to stop him. Build the Mathra trap? How? To build the trap, 
you will need serpents made from ancient Numerian magnets, known as Snagnets. Prove to the guardians of the city that you are worthy, and they will give these Snagnets to you. Let's go, Santiago. There's no time to lose. Wow, look at that. These must be the bottomless pits of doom. The animals in Uncle Horace must be on the other side. Which pit will we need to cross to get to Uncle Horace? It's uh, too dark to see. We'll have to try all of them, one pit at a time. If we can seal these pits, we'll be able to rescue Uncle Horace and the animals and build the Mathra trap. Let's go. What is this place? Welcome to the Numerian Chamber of Knowledge. All the scientific knowledge of Numeria is stored within my memory banks. This looks like an old water wheel, a uh, goo wheel. Goo from Goo Spring turns my wheel and generates my power. Oh, not goo again. Goo Spring? Joni. This must be the spring that feeds the entire Goo Lagoon. Looks like Mr. Limburger beat us here. He has thrown his oil drum into the spring. A good deed. Now I will reward you with snagnets. Have you built all five bridges across the bottomless pits? Only by doing so can you rescue the captured animals and your uncle. Look at those pits. Should we get to work? Or do we still need more snagnets? Whoa! The Jaguars can cross! Let's get out of here. We have four more pits to seal. Whoa! The foxes can cross! Let's go! We have three more bridges to build. Whoa. Whoa! The Pumas can cross. Two more pits and the Mathra trap will be reset. Whoa! Whoa. The Otters can cross. One more pit to seal, and we'll stop that Limburger for good. Uncle Horace! Dr. Pythagoras! Kids, Lap Trap, I'm so glad you're all right. We're here to rescue you, sir. If you seal this last pit, not only will I be rescued, but the Numerian Mathra Trap will be set, and we'll stop Limburger for good. Whoa! Whoa. Kids, Lap Uncle Trap! Horace. What's that? The bridge is transforming itself. It's becoming invisible. Look out! It's Mathra! It's Limburger! <laughs> I'll give those kids something to really be scared of. Uh-oh! Whoa! There he goes. Is this pit really... Bottomless, Uncle Horace? You know, I don't know. You kids did great! Yeah, what an adventure we had! I'm sure gonna miss you guys. Oh, no you're not. Kids, as a reward for saving the rainforest, I'm giving Lap Trap to you. What? Wait, oh, no. no. That means you can come with us on our next adventures. Oh my, you mean more excitement? 
Yeah! More danger? Yeah! And more monsters? Yeah! Ooh. Hey, he fainted. He's a computer. Maybe he crashed. So what do we do? Splash him with cold water? Call tech support? Ooh, where's the reset button? Oof. Uh. Uh. Right. Yeah. I'll get those kids yet. They haven't heard the last of Fletcher Q. Limburger. The Numerians were fearful. They did not know what to do. So they dropped him underground. Then they cut the key in two. For a thousand years he slumbered, now he's risen up to feast. The whole rainforest sings this chorus. Find the key and bag the beast. Do you believe in monsters? Rising from the gloom. Do you believe our humble requisition? If you're not good at addition, then we're doomed. Do you believe in monsters? Rising from the grave Do you believe our humble supplication? Use multiplication and we're saved